Putting politics aside, for the cameras at least. Hello. Labor's Energy Minister Chris Bowen alongside his Liberal State counterpart Matt Keane. Uh, good and productive meeting in a very cooperative fashion. We've been having very positive discussions. In the grips of a global energy crisis, sending power prices soaring, the federal government scrambling to finalise its market intervention. Gas prices to be capped at about $12 a gigajoule and a cap on coal prices of between $125 and $160 a tonne. The sticking point with the states, money. Compensation will be coming, possibly in the form of subsidies. We are not here today asking for compensation uh, for loss in coal royalties. We're here seeking support for families and businesses who could be impacted by a cap on coal prices. We're very close to landing a deal. The details are still being hammered out ahead of tomorrow's National Cabinet meeting. But energy ministers agreed on one thing, a new capacity mechanism to shore up the reliability of the East Coast energy market. It's designed to be an insurance policy to keep the lights on as Australia makes the enormous transition away from fossil fuels to renewables. This will unleash at least $10 billion of investment in renewable energy across Australia, at least six gigawatts of generation. Under the mechanism, the government will pay renewable energy providers like pumped hydro and battery facilities to be on standby to supply power when there's a shortfall. After a long-running debate, coal and gas producers have been excluded. This is a win for Queensland. All of us uh, together are uh, Team Australia. Some energy experts aren't convinced. I think it sounds more like uh, a little bit of optimism here rather than a really pragmatic view of how we maintain a reliable system in a low emissions world. Thank you for your time. Every you. Australian will get to judge whether their plan actually works. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.